one for like a beginner where they can just take it straight out of their um, garage and ride in their neighborhood. But then right. what about somebody that's like ready to move up a notch? Like if I wanted to go start road biking with, how, how does that start? What does that look like? Well, we start here always, you know, to get yeah. people riding. Once we've got them riding, they usually tell us, they guide us to, oh my goodness, I really like road riding. If they like road riding and they name some roads that they live near and they really want to actually travel on the road, then we'll go over this way. The bicycle's like this. They'll have drop bars, mm -hmm. the shifting's right here on them, the braking's right here. So you really can sit right here and do everything you want to do or sit down here and do everything. Uh, very fast wheels. The bicycles, we, we sit like this, so that's a lot different, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. um, most people don't go from there right to here. Okay. Most people really go from there to mountain biking. Okay. And uh, that's kind of where we kind of guide people ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to the front right here. And these are mountain bikes. Is that this here? <laughs> Were you looking at that kitten? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we have a kitten. <laughs> oh, what about? Uh, <laughs> He's getting around. <laughs> He's like, I got it. I got to do my thing. So these are mountain bikes, okay? okay? The reason we also, because of where we are, we're in Columbia. We have one of the top 100 mountain bike trails. Oh, really? It's right here. And it's called Harbison State Forest. And uh, the great thing about Harbison is when you go there, you know, I usually tell people go there first to hike mm -hmm. and walk around and get to know it. And we have a great little trail called the Firebreak Trail. It's like a five mile loop. It's nice and safe. Um, it's not too rooty and rocky. People walk it first to make sure that they think they can ride their bike on it. Um, that bike over there wouldn't do a good job of it. It would be a mountain bike that we have to go mm -hmm. into. But the benefit of off-road riding or mountain biking is that we don't have vehicles. Right. And that's a huge benefit to people. Mm -hmm. So if you and I go ride together, mm -hmm. um, when we ride together on the road, we stay together. You know, it's very much whatever your ability it is and whatever mine is, it doesn't really matter. We ride together in a safe environment because we have vehicles that are passing us constantly. Mm -hmm. If we go mountain biking, you and I can go ride together mm -hmm. and we will separate many times mm -hmm. and it will not be a big deal at all. But we're in the woods, like, you know, this is just fun. Anyway. Right. So someone that is just beginning, they really can advance this. They can take it from the couch and then move it up. And, and age-wise, too, that's another thing I like about biking, too, is that you can do this when you're a young child, just beginning to learn to ride a bike, when you're a college student, when you're 20, 30, 40, you can do this as a family, you can do it with friends. Right.